Hello everybody, thank you for joining my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Today we're going to talk about insomnia even more. I made a bunch of videos, you can check them out on my channel. So we're going to start off with, we struggle with stress due to our innate ability to try to adapt to the ever-changing environments we are currently exposed to. The brain has a part known as the amygdala, which makes a determination whether or not to pass on this information to the hypothalamus as being a threat to one's life or to their sense of self, as a psychological threat to a person's identity as they feel others see them as. It's the job of the hypothalamus to oversee whether to initiate any type of sympathetic nervous system action to abate possible danger. What's important to realize is the hypothalamus is responsible for the dispensing of a hormone known as corticotropin releasing hormone or CRH that activates the pituitary gland in order to subject the person to adrenocorticotropic hormone or ACTH. This is when the body is subjected to a spike in the hormone cortisol, which is then simultaneously being released with hormones that have to do with stress like adrenaline and noradrenaline by the hypothalamus. So as we could see, the more stress you get, there's a chain reaction to the stress that goes from the amygdala to hypothalamus. Hypothalamus triggers the sympathetic nervous system, which also again triggers the hypothalamus to release the hormone known as corticotropin releasing hormone or CRH that activates the pituitary gland. And this also releases adrenocorticotropic hormone or ACTH, which is released in tandem with cortisol, which in turn releases cortisol, which is released by uh, in uh, releasing in tandem with adrenaline and noradrenaline by the same system, the hypothalamus. So you all have a great day. Bye-bye.